just before I start the actual tutorial today, I'd just like to say that an early access copy of my book, Hello Swift, has been released for the first eight chapters. You can find it on many bookstores online, such as Amazon, Chapters, and Indigo, as well as the publisher's website. I really do hope that this helps you throughout your journey of learning the Swift programming language. Alright, so let's get into the tutorial now. So hello there and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tanway Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over how you can use the NS Speech Recognizer in Swift 3 in a macOS application in order to transcribe the NATO Phonetic Alphabet or the North Atlantic Treaty Organization Phonetic alphabet. Now the reason it's called this is because the NATO organization has actually adopted this phonetic alphabet. But before I go any further about this application, I'd like to say a big thank you to Ryan for sending in this video request and idea. So beginning today though, basically the point of this application is let's just say that you wanted to write out cat, C-A-T, on your computer. Instead of saying C-A-T or cat, you would say Charlie Alpha Tango, which is the, nat uh, sorry, the NATO phonetic alphabet form of cat. And basically, this application will write out cat for you. And this is based completely off of my older NS Speech Recognizer videos code. So if you'd like to learn a bit more about how the NS Speech Recognizer actually works, you can find a link to that video down in the description below. Uh, and so of course, though, today, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to implement the phonetic alphabet into this speech recognizer. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the code part where I can show you how I was able to implement this phonetic alphabet with my macOS application using the NS Speech Recognizer. Let's get to it. Alright, so welcome back to the code part, and now I'm going to be showing you the actual implementation of this application. So if you've already seen my older NS Speech Recognizer video, uh, you actually find this, you probably find this code very, very familiar. Except for the fact that this is a very, uh, this is, sorry, a Swift 3 version uh, of that same code. And so basically the point of this code uh, is that we are, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be explaining it to too much depth, but basically we are declining, our, we're, de sorry, declaring our Speech Recognizer. Uh, we're setting the delegate to self, we're setting the commands to the entire phonetic alphabet plus some and I'll talk about that in a second, uh, and we're telling the speech recognizer to start listening for commands. Uh, once that's done, we implement the speech recognizer did recognize command function. And in this function, we basically set the break state, which you probably understand from my older video. I won't be explaining it in, t in too much detail here, though. Uh, but we set the break state uh, to either true or false, depending on what the user said. Uh, and we set the output text view uh, to uh, what they said. Uh, and usually, uh, before what I did in my older video, is we would set this, um, we would set this text views, uh, I guess you could say text, uh, not to basically just the command. But this time what we're doing is we're setting it to the command's first character. So for example, if the user says alpha for A, we only want the A from the beginning of alpha. We don't want the entirety of alpha to be printed out onto the text view. In fact, let me show you a quick example of this in action. So uh, as you can see it's going to take a second here. Now let's actually try something out like maybe YouTube. So Yankee, Oscar, Uniform, Tango, Uniform, Bravo, Echo, Take a Break, Alright, so basically what I've done here is I've actually recited out YouTube in the NATO phonetic alphabet form, and what the NSV recognizer has gone ahead and done is it actually understood that, and it wrote out YouTube in this text view over here, and the text view is the entire, uh, I guess you could say, window here. Uh, and so as you can see, in this array that I'm defining here, I'm actually defining the entire NATO phonetic alphabet. So I'm saying Alpha, Bravo, uh, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, Yankee, sorry, Zulu, Space, take a break, and get back to work. Uh, now, apart from the phonetic alphabet, I have three commands as well. Those would be Space, take a break, and get back to work. 
Now, if you've already watched my older tutorial, you al you already know what take a break and get back to work mean. Uh, basically, take a break tells the NSP recognizer to stop listening, uh, and get back to work tells it to start listening again. However, space what that what that's gonna do? That's a new command that I just put in, and so what that'll do is it'll put a space between what the characters that you say. So let me actually give you a quick uh, sample of that as well. So like just for example, uh, if I were to say maybe oh get back to work sorry get back to work and if it doesn't realize that I just said that let's just rerun the application and it should all right hotel echo Lima Lima Oscar Space Sierra Whiskey India Foxtrot Tango Take a break and as you can see, it wrote out Hello Swift, uh, the title of my book. And so basically, this proves that it's able to understand commands like space. Uh, and so that's basically how this application functions. Uh, and of course, as I said, I have not gone into the code in very much detail. Basically, what I'm saying here uh, is that I've taken the exact same around oh, uh, 10, 15 lines of code, or yeah, around 30-ish uh, lines of code uh, that were from my older tutorial, and I've basically converted them to Swift 3, and instead of, you know, foods, my favorite foods, like chicken, I mean, mangoes, bananas, etc., etc., uh, I'm actually just putting in the Nato phonetic alphabet. And instead of taking the entire command that the user just said to the NSP recognizer and putting that onto a text view, I'm actually just taking the first letter of those commands and putting them onto the text view. But if those commands aren't actually, you know, the parts of the Nato phonetic alphabet, and they're, only, and they're just real commands like space or get back to work or take a break, what's going to happen is I won't, I, I just won't put them on the screen at all, and I'll actually execute the action that that command has linked to it. And that's basically all we had for this tutorial today. Thank you very much for joining in. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, if you did learn a lot and you really liked the video, please do consider leaving a like down below. And if you believe this could help anyone else you know, please do consider sharing the video as well. But if you have any questions, suggestions, or ideas, or feedback, really, you can leave that down in the comments below. Tweet that to me at Tajimani, uh, or you can even email it to me at Tajimani at gmail.com. Of course, if you really like my content and you want to see more of it, you can, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel, as it really does help out a lot. And, of course, thank you very much for watching this tutorial today. That's going to be all. Goodbye.